Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures of Redbeard. Today we are going over a company out of Tampa Bay, Florida. Uh, the owner's name is Matt Selby, a uh, real good guy to do business with. The company I'm actually talking about here is Bay Area Beard Co. Alright guys, I've got a combo that I was actually lucky enough to get an early drop on and uh, actually got one of the new labels and everything and I think it's actually a whole new makeup on the oil if I'm not mistaken. I've never had his previous but from what he was saying this is a whole new makeup of actually one of his scents. But I will be right back with you guys after the intro here talk to you about that one. Alright guys and welcome back. As I said today we are going to be going over Bay Area Beard Co. These guys right here. All right, uh, the owner Matt, phenomenal guy to do work or do any type of business with. Uh, he really helped me out here. I wanted to kind of help him out and boost his new labeling, his new scent profile that he has here. Uh, and like I said, guys, I'm gonna let you know what that is here in just a minute. But I'm gonna first go over everything with you. Uh, the package, that right there, that is phenomenal. Uh, he does such a good job right here don't just grow any beard grow a biblical beard all right this is on both sides biblical beard <clears throat> biblical beard oil bay area beard coat sorry guys you got right here it would be if it wasn't for this amazing sticker that he has that actually seals it that is that just all the way around is cool but uh you got right here this would be www.biblicalbeard.com now if you get on instagram guys bam Bay Area Beard Company. Definitely check them out. But guys, when I got opened into the package, of course, I had this, which is Bay Area Beard Company, Biblical Beard Care, with a thank you from Bay Area Beard Company. Okay? Not only that, sorry if I'm glitching a little bit, guys, but we also have a full list and I ain't done. Here we go, we gotta flip it. Of scent profiles from this company. There it is. But the old whenever it came in as far as I'm still on packaging. Right here. Got the top in my hand. But this I just pulled the oil out because I actually want to wait to show you guys. That is really nice. I put this in my cabinet above my sink and it keeps me from busting my bottles or anything in case they drop or in case you know anyone gets in there, kids or anything like that. The walls on this thing are thick. All right, very well made. Great container to store your oils in. Got the ingredients listed on it as well. All right, now we're gonna move on. As I said, we have a new scent profile or semi-new. Okay, and the one I'm talking about here, guys, uh, he redid and relabeled, put on his Instagram. You've seen it up. It was uh, for the uh, Gasparilla Festival that's actually coming up tomorrow. All right, guys, and that's when this new label is dropping. It's actually to help promote, and you can see on this when I show you what I mean. But uh, if you haven't already seen it on his Instagram. But I am talking about the Florida Blanca. All right, guys. Now, first off, we're gonna start like I always do, with the oils. Of course, I showed you what kind of packaging the oil came in. Amazing, phenomenal job. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything getting jumbled around or anything like that when you order from this company. That's that's great. Not just that, but look at the nice artwork and everything put in it. Right there is for the Gasparilla Pirate Cup. It's really nice. Looks like a map. Guys, I, I wish my camera did a little more justice. But there, looks like a map. Old pirate map. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go on to the ingredients. We have uh, sweet almond oil, Moroccan argan oil, golden jojoba oil, avocado oil, Jamaican black castor oil, and fragrance and or essential oils. Okay. All right, now, 
Look, just look at that. Look at that wood topper. That's nice. And that amber bottle just makes that label pop. But the scent, guys, that's great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and list the scent profile off to you. I'm sorry, it's just that I've been I've been using this stuff a lot. I don't know if you can see it or not. I've I've already broke into a good fifth of the bottle here from the top. It was filled to the top. All right, but this is a Bay Rum. All right, Black Oud, Tom Ford Tobacco, Vanilla, Black Musk, and Black Sea. And you can get every scent that I just listed out of this, and it is a very manly smell. It, it, it just has a really good scent. Uh, that musky, just sweet vanilla. You still get that little bit of that oud to it. Uh, guys, it's just, it's, it's amazing oil. I like it too, because I don't have to use a lot of it. I mean, I use this much, which you can see it's a thicker oil. Sorry guys, my hands are a little unsteady. But you can see it's that thicker oil. I can use a quarter, quarter, a third dropper. And it works in and moisturizes and holds so well. The scent to this lasted, of course I had balm in with it. But the scent to this lasted from lunch when I got in early off work and I kept it in and I took a shower, of course, when I got in, kept that in after I showered and I could still smell that in my beard at seven o'clock the following morning. And it, it's not pungent, it's not overly scented. It is a like light musky cologne with a little bit of oud and sweetness with that slight little bit of tobacco. And you can literally smell every scent in it and the way it blends together, it's just amazing, guys. It is, this is spectacular oil. I really like this. Like I said, he already said this is one of his top sellers. I can't imagine. It's going to get probably better, I'd say. He wasn't satisfied with it. He is now. I'm satisfied with it. That's a great job. Great oil. Amazing stuff. Like I said, that scent lasts forever. And sorry again, guys. My, my beard gets hung up on my this jacket of mine. This, it's got the big tall collar and it drives me crazy. All right. But as I was saying, guys, I'm going to move on to the bomb. This bomb completely turned me around on it. Uh, I don't use bombs. I usually just use a butter. I use oil, let that oil sit for a little while after a few minutes after I you know, get out of my shower, my beard's still a little damp, throw some oil in. I let that sit, comb it through, and then before I get ready to fully style it, I'll throw in a little bit extra butter to add some moisture because I work outside and I don't really like anything that's a, it's a real like heavy, heavy, anything in my beard. I like stuff that keeps it moisturized and soft. Now, I've got both in right now. Okay, the balm and the oil. And as you see, it is soft. Okay, this is like a, it's like a medium balm. It, it's a soft balm. I mean, I've, it's a medium hold. But that scent is there. The scent to it is just, it's amazing. As you can see, guys, I've dipped into it right around the brim there quite a bit. It don't take much of this either. Works in good. Moisturizes well for, for a balm. I, I've never like I said, turn me around on bombs all the way around. But this one also has a redo on the label too. Okay, guys. Love it. Of course, scent profile has changed up along with the other. But I love those labels, man. I just can't, can't stop really looking at them, honestly. But that, and not just that. Did you see that? That's nice. There's a metal container in there. Don't get me wrong. You can see it. But that bamboo looking wood on there, that really adds that extra effect. But guys, this scent, be sure whenever that hits and you are able to get this new Florida Blanca scent, the the new, the, the new and improved. That's that's I didn't ever get to try the last. And I, you know, it might be some people that are like, okay, I like the stuff before. Okay, I like this. Never tried the stuff before. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. But this right here. It's great stuff, and I would definitely be going back to him for stuff. It, it's just, you know, I want to try his butters and everything else. Uh, it's just this right here. I had never tried a bomb. Figured I'd try a bomb. I am not disappointed. But, you know, it's a, his things are, you know, stay biblical. But he's also got his different ranges of, you know, different variations and scents and everything. And this is more of a pirate based, which is really cool. And that's why it works for that Casparilla. Uh, or Gasparilla, I'm sorry guys, I said that completely all wrong, but it's the Gasparilla Pirate Fest. And this will be dropping Saturday when that festival hits. So be sure guys to get on there, check them out. You will not be 
disappointed whatsoever. I, I get on here and I up talk a lot of different, you know, and I, I, most of my companies, I, I'm straight up honest with you. If I like it, I like it. And I'll tell you some scents I don't like. There's certain scents I don't like. This one, with this transition to this scent, it's amazing. Like, it, it really is a good scent. I can I don't wear cologne scents, but I can see myself wearing this cologne scent. I wear this every day. I won't have a problem in the world to keep this and carry this. And I do a lot of traveling, guys. So this will be my carry and take with me everyday oil. And I really, really like it. It's just, it's it's nice and presentable, too. You set that on a on a counter or you know if you're, you're out places and you know i travel and whenever it's me and the old lady here you know we always share a bathroom of course it's nice to have something pretty to sit up there you know she ain't gonna complain about that that looks good she never does so you know what i'm saying it's just it's all about the presentation it makes everybody else happy too but not just presentation, but having that product that follows along with that presentation and has such a great product like this. And like I said, I'm not trying to up talk you guys. This is, this is one of the best products I've ever tried. Uh, and like I said, it turned me on bomb. I have never liked bombs. I do not like bombs usually. Bombs are too stiff. This is not a stiff bomb. This is a really, really good bomb. But for now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop on off here. I just wanted to get on, run over that with you, because I was really excited about the scent. But be sure when he drops that to get in on it and get yourself some of this. Because that scent, if you already like the Florida Blanca before, you're guaranteed you're going to love this. All right, guys. I, I'm. If you like the Oud Bay Rum scents, a little bit of sweetness, that's it. But for now, guys, that's all I got for you. But... As he says, you know, don't just grow a beard, grow a biblical one. And I will throw a link with all of the pricing and everything down at the bottom, guys, to let you know, you know, what, what you're after, what, what it's going to cost you and everything else. Uh, if I have any type of promos or anything like that, I'll throw them in there too. Uh, if I can find any for you, because, you know, everybody likes to save money. But for now, guys, we are going to leave you with this again. And that is Biblical Beard Care, Bay Area Beard Company. And guys, can't go wrong with it. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're liking what you're seeing here, ring the little bell. It'll keep you updated on when I'm dropping new stuff. Uh, we'll have various content coming. I've got a few more reviews coming and some travel videos coming up. But for now, guys, that's it. And I'm going to show off this florida blanca sticker one more time before i go and we are gonna leave it at that guys see you.